Hopefully you've had a chance to practice the chain stitch a little bit and get comfortable with how you're going to hold the yarn. Uh, we're going to start right in with a single crochet stitch. Now something that's very different about crochet from knitting is that crochet stitches are measured in their height and how tall they are. The single crochet is the shortest stitch aside from slip stitch which is more something we use to attach two things together and not as creating fabric. So single crochet is the shortest and we're going to move on to taller stitches from here. Single crochet is also the easiest to work. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with a slip knot. Oh, let me show you. This is what a bunch of single crochet looks like all worked together. Because we turn the work every time, it ends up, even if it wanted to curl, it won't curl because the two sides are working against and with each other. And um, it's, it makes a nice flat fabric. Kind of thick. Of course, I'm using super, super bulky yarn. Okay. So I'm here with my slip knot. I'm going to chain a few stitches. And I'll give you a link to the chain stitch video in case you need it. Now, um, this first row is going to be crocheting into the foundation chain. And from here, after you finish that, it's a little bit different in how we work it. So we never count the hook that's the stitch that's on the hook. So ignore that one. We're going to skip the first chain. And you see the chain ends up looking like a bind off or a cast on row with a bunch of V's going this way. So we skip the first V. We're going to stab into under the left leg of the second V. Just like that. So you essentially have two loops on the hook right now. You grab the yarn, just like you did in the chain stitch, and pull it through the first one. Pull that stitch up onto the fullest part of the hook, grab the yarn, and then pull it through both. And when you finish a crochet hook, you should just have one stitch on the hook. Okay? So we're going to stab under the next V, or kind of right into the center of the next V with one loop on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull that up. Grab the yarn again and pull it through both. Stab into the next one. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Grab the yarn again and pull it through both. Okay, this is my last V because all that's left here is the slip knot, nothing else for me to work into. I'm going to turn the work now, and when I turn the work with crochet, because the stitches, as I explained, are tall, we want to chain one stitch to get ready to work across this row the other way. I actually like to work the chain before I turn. Okay? Then you can see we have the loop that's on the hook, we have the chain that we just did, and then the next V that we see is actually in the work. And that's where we want to stab. So this, now that we finished the crochet chain, we're going to be stabbing under both legs of the V as we go down the row. Like that. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Grab the yarn and pull through both. Stab under both legs of the next V. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Grab the yarn and go through both. Single crochet. And there, I reached the end of that. I'm going to chain one to turn my work to go back across the other way. And that's it, the shortest of the crochet stitches, single crochet.